All right, once again, it is uh, about 9.40 on Earth Day, 2012. And I have been proven wrong. I was half expecting the glass to be working better for the top of a solar cooking box, and it's the plastic. As you can, I don't know if you can see it, it's hard to tell by the glare, but the one with the plastic top is almost 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And the one with glass is just about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Also appears that the biscuit in the plastic one is starting to brown. Just a little bit. But not the one in the uh, in the glass. Well, it's, it's still not uh, it's fully cooked. So we have. Uh, so this little experiment has proven me wrong. I was half expect I was expecting the glass to be a better top for a solar hot co solar cooking box, and instead it is the plastic. Well, isn't that something? Well, that means you could probably build a uh, uh, a solar cooking box with a plastic top and use that for uh, for transport if you need to pick up and go somewhere. Now, I should let you know how I made these things. These are standard filing uh, boxes. Uh, you can get them in any office supply store, and I painted them black with spray paint, but you could use anything to make them black. Uh, you could use uh, burnt uh, wood for charcoal, you could use tempera paint, you could use shoe polish. Anything that makes them black so that they are more absorbent of heat. And the reason why I have that little piece of, piece of wood stuck up is so that the glass top doesn't slide off. The interior boxes are shipping packing boxes that I got from work with my boss's permission. The glass, I also the glass and the plastic top, they also got with my boss's permission from work. Actually, he gave them to me because they were both defective. Well, what with the plastic is defective because it has a, a scratch in the plastic which you can't see, and the glass because it was cut for a specific order and that order was never processed. Blame the clients for that. The insulation is crumpled up newspaper. Technically this is a down and dirty type of design that you would use in, a, in an emergency situation or just where well, you just need to cook something in a, in a hurry. One advantage to us, to a, uh, you see my shadow, one advantage to a uh, solar cooking box is that you don't, doesn't require uh, any fuels. No cooking fuels, no no wood or anything like that, or charcoal or briquettes. And also if you're trying to keep a low profile, there's no smoke to give you away. The only thing that could give you away is a uh, plane flying overhead and seeing the reflection of the aluminum foil. Like I said, uh, all told, this uh, each one of these uh, ovens, not really an oven, it's just a cooking box, uh, could send me back, oh, in total, I'd say only a, maybe two or three dollars. Most expensive part of it would be, uh, for me, was buy, was buying the little, uh, the little thermometers inside. Those cost me about uh, four dollars a piece. You're tilted upwards towards the sun. Like I said, this is a very primitive design. There are more elaborate uh, solar cooking box designs that are, you can find in various books and on the internet. And once again, it, it, the time right now is about... Uh, wait, let me get this in the sun. It's about 9.47 and we have this one at about 
close to 250 degrees Fahrenheit with the plastic top and the one with the glass top is about right about 200 degrees Fahrenheit if you're watching this in Europe I'm sorry but we're still using the Imperial system still haven't gotten around to uh, the metric system all right I'll see how this goes in a few more minutes